Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Sanger sequencing. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So Sanger sequencing is a method for determining the DNA sequence. This method is also called chain termination method. This method was developed by Frederick Sanger in 1977. Hence the name the Sanger sequence. A DNA contains huge number of deoxynucleotide monomer. Each nucleotide is composed of a nitrogenous base which can either be A, T, G or C, a ribose sugar and three phosphate molecules which are called alpha, beta and gamma phosphates. Deoxynucleotide because this hydroxyl group of 2 dash position of the sugar is removed like this. When hydroxyl group of both 2 dash and 3 dash position are removed like this, it is called dideoxynucleotide. Di means 2. Now, 3 dash OH of DNA plays a very important role in DNA replication. It forms a bond with the alpha phosphate of upcoming deoxynucleotide. This bond is called phosphodiester bond. In this way, polymerization of deoxynucleotide occurs. That means a DNA replication proceeds. But if dideoxynucleotide is present instead of deoxynucleotide, no phosphodiester bond formation will occur between 3 dash of ribose and alpha phosphate of new deoxynucleotide because if hydroxyl group of 3 dash position is absent phosphodiester bond formation can't take place and DNA replication stops. Sanger used this idea while making DNA sequencing technique. Let's talk about the method of DNA sequencing now. Any DNA that is double stranded, first we need to denature this DNA to make it single stranded. The single stranded DNA then needs to be divided into four tubes named 1, 2, 3 and 4. Along with the single stranded DNA, each tube contains deoxynucleotide triphosphates or DNTPs like DATP, DTTP, DGTP, and DCTP, a primer, DNA polymerase, and dideoxynucleotide triphosphate or DDNTP. Now, DDNTPs are added in a very low concentration. In tube 1, DDATP is added. In tube 2, DDTTP is added. In tube 3, DDGTP is added. In tube 4, DDCTP is added. These DDNTPs are radio leveled. So, these tubes containing DNA mixture are now allowed for PCR. When a DDNTP is added in the growing DNA strand, the DNA synthesis will be stopped. As DNA synthesis is terminated after addition of DDNTP, 
Sanger technique is also called chain termination method. In every tube, DNA synthesis occurs, but the synthesis stops once a DDNTP is added. And our target is that last DDNTP. Since DDNTP is radio leveled, we can detect DDNTP easily. Since very little amounts of DDNTPs are used, DNA synthesis will not terminate in every time. But once DDNTP gets inserted in the growing strand, DNA synthesis stops. In tube 1, let's see what happens. Here DDATP is used. That means it will be incorporated in DNA when the complementary base is thymine in template DNA. As the template DNA contains 3 thymine, a DDATP could be added in 3 places. Hence, we will get 3 types of DNA fragments here. Let's see. Tube 2 next. Here DDTTP is used. That means it will be incorporated in DNA when the complementary base is adenine in template DNA. As the template DNA contains only one adenine, a DDTTP could be added only once. Hence, we will get only one type of DNA fragment here. Let's see tube 3 next. Here DDGTP is used. That means it will be incorporated in DNA when the complementary base is cytosine in template DNA. As the template DNA contains 4 cytosine, a uh, DDGTP could be added in 4 places. Hence, we will get 4 types of DNA fragments here. Let's talk about tube 4. Here, DDCTP is used. That means it will be incorporated in DNA when the complementary base is guanine in template DNA. As the template DNA contains 2 guanine, a DDCTP could be added in 2 places. Hence, we will get 2 types of DNA fragments here. That means, each tube contains different fragments of DNA who all have same starting point but different end point. Now, these products are run in polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Each lane of the gel contains content of each tube, tube 1, tube 2, tube 3 and tube 4. DNA fragments are separated in page based on their size. Since DD NTPs are radio leveled, auto radiography would be performed. Now, let's interpret the result. After gel electrophoresis, smallest fragment runs till the bottom, largest fragment is found on top. We have to read the sequence from bottom to top. And the sequence is 5 dash G C A A P A G C G G 3 dash. Now this sequence is synthesized after PCR. So the template strand that was in our hand would be 5 dash C C G C T A T T. G C 
3 dash